it's Ellen from the Kennebecasis Watershed Restoration Committee and welcome back to another watershed walk. One of the ways the KWRC helps to protect our watershed is by monitoring the spread of invasive species such as Eurasian water milfoil. However, invasive species do not have to be aquatic dwellers to pose a threat to our waterways. We have recently expanded our focus to include the emerald ash borer, a small metallic green beetle which feeds on ash tree leaves and lays eggs on the bark. When the eggs hatch, the larvae bore into the bark and create tunnels in the soft section of wood where the tree's water and nutrients are transported. Many of the affected trees are severely damaged and due to this weakening, eventually die. Ash tree borders streams, rivers, and beaches, and for this reason play an important role in erosion and temperature control due to bank stabilization and shade cover respectively. In the last couple of years, the emerald ash borer's presence has been confirmed nearby, such as in Moncton and Oromocto, so the KWRC has installed traps within the Kennebecasis watershed in order to monitor the extent of their invasion. The traps are pretty simple. A sheet of corrugated plastic coated on one side with a sticky substance is folded in three places to create a prism. The ends are secured and the trap is fitted with a metal hook which will allow it to hang from a tree limb. Once we're at the ash tree site, two scent packets are placed on the trap, one which smells like fresh leaves and the other contains female sex pheromones to attract male adult beetles. An extended arm lifts the trap high enough into the tree. We will check on them a couple of times to make sure they're intact and hanging properly before taking them down for inspection near the end of August. We've partnered with landowners who are willing to have the traps placed on their property in areas we suspect may be at increased risk for emerald ash borer invasion. For instance, if there are campgrounds nearby where people might be transporting firewood from one area to another. This is just one of the ways their presence may spread. If you suspect an emerald ash borer sighting, contact the Canadian Food Inspection Agency. Thanks, as always, to our sponsors for making the work we do here at the KWRC possible. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media to stay up to date with our environmental endeavors. Thanks for tuning in to this week's Watershed Walk. See you in the next one.